Hey friends, it's Mr. Jim, and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. If this is your first time, welcome to the family. We are the podcast that turns your ideas into an amazing adventure every single day. You know, we couldn't even exist without imaginations from kids just like you. So if you have an idea for a story, I'd love to see it. Check down in the show notes below for how you can submit your own story idea and maybe we'll turn it into an awesome adventure. And parents, if you're new to kids podcasting, I want to challenge you to listen to podcasting for five days in a row with your kids. It's going to increase their imagination, decrease screen time, and we're going to have a lot of fun along the way. Are you guys ready for today's adventure? Me too. Let's go. Sami and Rami woke up one morning to the sounds of crashing metal and chaos. What is that? shouted Sami, jumping out of bed. Rami rubbed his eyes and yawned. (sighs) But followed Sami to the window. They gawked at the alarming sight outside. All of the cars that had parked along the street had been crushed. They were smashed in from the top. Windows shattered and doors squeezed out from the pressure of whatever had crushed them from the top. What happened? wondered Rami. The kids began imagining what could have caused such destruction. Do you have any guesses? Huh, I don't know. What could s- just squish cars like that? Sami began to think. Maybe a giant Tyrannosaurus Rex from space came down and went smash, smash, smash to all the cars. You know, just, uh, just an idea. Or maybe, thought Rami, a giant came into town on his way to a, uh, a bowling competition. Yeah and accidentally dropped his bowling ball on top of the first car and it kept rolling down the street like boosh, boosh, smashing all the cars in. Huh, that's not bad. That could actually happen, said Sami. Do you think it's just our street? Uh, I don't know, replied Rami. But I think we should investigate. They were both far too comfy to change out of their pajamas, so they just slipped on their shoes and began their investigation. They looked at the cars down their street. Every single one was smashed in the same way. Whoa, did the world's largest steamroller come down our street? Wondered Sami. The kids turned down the next block and saw that they were all smashed as well. They peeked down the next few blocks and everything looked the same. Neighbors were beginning to fill the streets to look at the wreckage, too. Hmm, thought Rami, scratching his head. It must have been something fast to be able to crush all these cars on all these streets so quickly without even being caught. Ooh, maybe it was a giant cheetah leaping from car to car, smashing each one as it went, suggested Sami. As they tried to imagine more scenarios, uh, the revving of an engine cut through their thoughts. The sound was a thunderous roar that everyone outside could hear clearly, and it caused them to cover their ears immediately. What was that? shouted Rami. The kids ran in the direction of the sound, still covering their ears. When the sound became a deafening roar, they knew they had the right street. They hid in the bushes while something came racing up the street. A purple monster truck was speeding up the road, driving on top of, oh dear, all the cars parked along the sidewalk. The monster truck was so big that one set of wheels was on one side of the road, while the other set of wheels was on the other. 
As soon as the monster truck smashed all the cars on the street, it left, racing toward the next street of unsmashed cars. It's that purple monster truck! It's so big, it can crush both rows of cars at the same time, shouted Sami. But who's driving it? asked Rami. The monster truck was so tall, he couldn't even see, uh, you know, who was driving. Sami and Rami came up with a plan to stop the monster truck. They ran to the unsmashed streets and woke up all the drivers. Then they told them what to do. Line up all your vehicles in a line, like they are on the street, but this time they'll be lined up toward the lake, Sami told them. The monster truck won't be able to resist the unsmashed rows of cars and will speed down it without realizing where he's going. Then we'll be ready. The neighbors all agreed and began setting up their cars in two rows facing the lake. Sami and Rami got in two fishing boats, setting up the large fishing net between them. When all of the people were safely out of their vehicles, they heard the booming roar of the monster truck's engine just before it appeared at the end of the street. Crash! Smash! The monster truck sped down the pretend road, heading straight for the lake. It was zooming at top speeds, not realizing the still water ahead of it was not a road. The purple monster truck was driving so fast, it flew over the first few feet of water before sinking down to the tops of its wheels. It tried to reverse out but it had already been tangled in Sami and Rami's net. Time to see who the monster truck driver is, Rami said, floating his boat up to the half-sunk monster truck and climbing up. As soon as Rami yanked open the door, (gasps) purple ninjas scattered out past him. They climbed onto the roof, holding on some kind of controller. Stop them, shouted Sami. Rami tried to grab the controller from them, but it was too late. The purple ninjas had pressed the button, and a large purple blimp appeared ahead. The ninjas all jumped and grabbed onto the rope dangling from the blimp. Then it zoomed away, taking all the purple ninjas out of reach of Sami, Rami, or any of the other people. Sami met Rami at the top of the monster truck. It's okay, Rami. Now that we know who it was... We can call HQ and alert biology squad. The kids agreed that this was the best plan, then began searching the monster truck for any useful clues. Rami found a control switch that said, the unsmasher prototype. Hmm, I wonder. Rami flipped the switch, and the first car on the road had its roof pop up, then the next, and the next. The cards were dented and windowless, but all the roofs and doors became unsmashed. The kids listened as all around them the sounds of car roofs popping back into place sounded. Shoo! Wow, this may be the end of our story, but I'm so glad that Sami and Rami were able to save the city from that purple monster truck. We're going to have to keep an eye out on those purple ninjas to make sure they don't do something like this ever again. The end. Great job, you listened all the way to the end, and you know what time it is. It's time for Kid Shoutouts. I want to say hey to Remy and Sammy from Colorado, William from North Carolina, Liana from Greenville, South Carolina, Franklin from Alberta, Canada, Pranav from the U.S., Max, Macy, and Jackson from Iowa, and Sophia from Oregon. I'm so glad that you're all on our Kid Short Stories family We could not have this much fun with imagination without you, my friends. Well, you have a super duper day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!